hello, welcome, and let's get started. Step one, the sole. I will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, or G. Let's start with a slip knot. Chain 11. In the second chain from the hook, we will do two single crochet. And now four single crochet, one in the next four stitches. Now we will do two half double crochet one in each stitch. Follow this with two double crochets. In the last chain we will put seven double crochet all in the same stitch. We will now work in the back side of the chain. Starting in the very first space, we will do a double crochet. I think we'll just try this one again. So we're going to do a double crochet in the first space, and then another double crochet in the next space. Make sure you put one stitch in each space and be careful not to miss a space. And now two half double crochet. Four single crochet, one in each of the next four stitches. Now we will put two single crochet in the same stitch as the very first two single crochet of our round. Slip stitch to join into the top of the first single crochet. Round one will equal 27 stitches. Start round two with the chain one. Working in the same stitch, do two single crochets in each of the next two stitches. And now we will work nine single crochet along the side, one in each of the next nine stitches. I think I'll just back it up here a little bit. Okay, so this is number three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. Going around the toe, we will put two single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And now nine single crochet down the side. We can then put two single crochet in each of the next two stitches. We will do a slip stitch to join into the top of the first single crochet. Chain one, starting in the same stitch, we will do single crochet and then two single crochets in the same stitch and we're going to do that two times. Single, one, two. And now we will work nine single crochet up the side. Going around the toe, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch, and then one single crochet, and we will do this five times. So two, and then one, that's two times. Again, two, and one is three times. four, and then one. That is five times. We will continue with nine single crochet down the side. We can then put two single crochets in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet, and we will do that two times. One time, and then two single crochet in the next, and one single crochet, that's two times. We will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round three will equal 45 stitches. Chain one. This round will have 45 single crochet and we will be going into the back loop only. So one in each step, one in each stitch all the way around, back loop only. Make sure to pause the video at any time to catch up. Once you have reached your 45 stitches, do not join this round. Cut your yarn and pull through. Using your darning needle, we will now finish with an invisible close. 
start by inserting the needle into the top of your first single crochet from front to back. We will then go into the back of the last stitch that we made. We have now created an invisible finish. So we have just added a stitch or an extra V for a perfect finish. Weave in your ends and tie off. Round four will equal 46 stitches, about four inches or 10 centimeters in length. Step two will be the sides and the toe, starting with our other color of yarn. Start in the center back, the extra stitch that we made. Insert your hook and draw up the yarn. Chain one. And now we will do a single crochet in that same stitch. Continue with single crochets all the way around, making sure you go through both loops. We will have 46 single crochet in total. When you have reached the end, we will do a slip stitch to join into the top of the first single crochet. Round five equal 46 stitches. Chain one, starting in the first stitch, do another row of 46 single crochet all the way around. Slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round six equal 46 stitches. Chain one. Start in the same stitch and let's do 20 single crochet this time. We will now begin a decrease for around the toe. Our first decrease will be a two single crochet together. Insert your hook into the first stitch, draw up a loop. Insert hook into the next stitch, draw up another loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. This is a two single crochet together. Now we will do two more. Insert the hook, draw up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. Let's do one more. Insert hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the second stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through all three. Complete this round with 20 single crochets.
When you have reached the end, we will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round 7 equal 43 stitches. For round 8, let's start with the chain 1. Working into the first stitch, we will do 17 single crochet. Working around the toe, we're going to go two, two single crochet together. There's one, and another. Then we will do a single crochet, and another single crochet, followed by two more, two single crochet together. And now 16 single crochet to finish our round. Slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round 8 will equal 39 stitches. For round 9, we'll chain 1 and start in the first stitch. We will begin by doing 14 single crochet. Working around the toe, we will do two, two single crochet together. There's one and two, followed by a single crochet and then another single crochet and then two more, two single crochet together. One, and this is our second one and then 15 single crochet along the side to finish our row, round. We will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round 9 equal 35 stitches. Let's start with the chain 1 and starting in the same stitch. We will begin this time with a 2 single crochet together. This is to shape the heel, followed by a single crochet and then another 2 single crochet together.
We will then do seven single crochet. Working around the toe, we will do two single crochet together. Then we will do a single crochet and another single crochet, followed by another two single crochet together. One single crochet one single crochet, and then another two single crochet together. You can now see how nicely the toe is forming. We will now finish the row with eight single crochets. We will do two single crochet together, a single crochet, and another two single crochet together to finish the shape of the heel on this round. Slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round 10 will equal 28 stitches. For round 11, We'll start with a chain one, working into the first stitch. We're going to start with the two single crochet together. We will then do eight single crochet. We will now do a two single crochet together. And then five individual single crochet crochets. One, two, three, four, and five and then a two single crochet together again, followed by nine single crochet. Do not join this round. Cut your yarn and pull through. Round 11 is 25 stitches. We will now do our invisible close. With the darning needle, insert into the top of the first single crochet. We will then insert the needle into the back of the last single crochet. We have now created our extra stitch, or V, for our invisible join. So now, round 11 equal 26 stitches. With your beginning tail, we can pull the yarn out to the outside and insert it into the another stitch just for a better look. If 
we can now weave in our ends. Make both booties to this point. Step three will be the sides. With both booties together, with the toes facing you, you will see that there is 26 stitches around the top. We will find the center of the booty. From the center, we are going to count down six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will place a marker here. This marker will be on the outside of the ankle or of the left foot. We can do the same for the other side, from the center counting down. From the center, and then two, three, four, five, and six. We will start with the left booty. Our first four stitches will be in the front loop only. This is how we can create our overlap. Starting in where the stitch marker is, insert your hook into the front loop only of that stitch. You can then remove your marker. Do a chain one and put your first single crochet into that same stitch. And now do three more single crochets in the front loop only of the next three stitches. So there we have our four front loop only single crochets. We can now do 22 single crochet through both loops until we reach the other side. This will be number 21 and number 22. So now we continue into the back loop of those first four single crochets. So if you pull it forward, you will see the back loops of them. So there we will complete our round doing four single crochets into the back loop. This will give you 30 single crochet total. You can now do a chain one and turn, start in your first stitch and do 30 single crochet all the way around. Chain one and turn. Crochet nine rows of 30 single crochet total. We'll see you when you get to the top. You can now cut your yarn, pull through and weave in your ends.
let's do the right booty. From this stitch marker, that will be our ending spot, so the front part of the flap. So we want to start in the inside. So from the stitch marker, we will count over three single crochet. So from the marker, one, two, and three. We will place our hook in the back loop only. So draw up the yarn, chain one, and start in that same stitch with a single crochet. We can remove the stitch marker and do three more single crochet in that back loop. So we have four single crochet back loop only. We will now do 22 single crochet going through both loops. and that is 22. So now we can do our four single crochet front loop only to finish our round. Chain one and turn and start in the first stitch. Do 30 single crochet all the way around. You will continue this pattern until you have nine rows. Cut your yarn and weave your ends. Step four, the trim. Tie on your yarn to start. I find this is just an easier way so you don't have to weave in your ends. Single crochet all the way around and enjoy the music while you're doing it. Make sure you go into the end of each row and every stitch.
Step 5 will be the button and the loop. Our finished booty will be approximately 4 inches or 10 centimeters high. Let's start with a slip knot. We will then chain two. In the first chain one space, we are going to do five half double crochets. Slip stitch to join into the top of the first half double crochet. Chain 1. Start in the first stitch, do 2 single crochets into each stitch. Slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Cut your yarn leaving a small tail and pull through. To make the loop, we will start with a slip knot. We will then chain 15 and join, and then leave a small tail as well. Tie your beginning and ending yarns together in a knot. To attach the button, we will first take our finishing long yarn and just weave it to the back.
place the button on the booty and pull the short end of the yarn to the back or on the inside. We will just use the long one to now attach the button. Attach the button on the inside portion, leaving room for the loop to go around. Working around, just grab a small part of the pink yarn and then a small part of the white and continue till you've reached all the way around. Pull yarn to the back and tie. Once you have a knot, you can pull that yarn back up to the front. Thank you for watching. Finish your project with the music and watch until the end for some wonderful color ideas. Have a great day!